It's almost 2024. And if you want to make it big next year, then you need to have three things. And it's not just good music. Good music alone is just not enough anymore. So three things, I'm going to break down each one and I'm going to show you how to get there. If you don't know, I'm Justin. I run Cosmic Academy, an artist development school. And we've been around now for over 10 years. 2024 is actually 12 years that our school's been around. And we've worked with over 700 incredible students and they get incredible results. Now they signed to the biggest labels like Tool Room, Armada, Anjuna, Monster Cat, Spinning. They play the biggest shows. EDC, Electric Zoo, Tomorrowland. They tour all over the country, all over the world. And our students have these three things, and that's why they get results. So let's go through them. The first thing is professional quality sound. There's two parts to what I just said, quality sound and professional. Let's start with the quality sound part. When you send your music to a label, they're not just listening and waiting for a catchy drop. truth is, they might not even make it to the drop. If you don't know, labels are getting thousands of submissions every week. So they might only have time to listen to like two, three seconds of your song. And what are they listening for? Quality. The quality is the gatekeeper. If the quality isn't good, they stop listening. If the quality is great, they'll keep going. And the reason why the quality is the gatekeeper, it's because you can't get lucky with quality. People can get lucky with a catchy melody, but to prove that you really know what you're doing, you can't get lucky with quality. They'll know very fast, within a few seconds, do you understand compression? How is the EQ, the sound design, the vocal processing? How's the mix down? How's the master? Do the fundamentals of sound seem to be of high quality? And they'll be able to know that very quickly. The next part of professional quality sound is professional. The difference between an amateur and a professional, a professional is able to make and finish music on a consistent basis. They're able to meet deadlines, they're able to finish music for the contracts. And what is the key with all of this? And this is probably one of the biggest issues that producers have, that my students have, this is why people come to us. Finishing music, it comes down to your workflow. So many producers do not have a professional workflow. They start an idea, they put it together in almost a random way, then they run into trouble and they stop. They hit a roadblock, they don't know where to go, and they never finish. Labels want to sign an artist that finishes and makes a lot of music. And quite literally, like the deals that labels are doing today are the ones where you have to guarantee that you're going to give them a certain amount of music in a certain amount of time. In order to sign those types of contracts and, and sign those types of deals, you need to finish a lot of music. So getting that workflow tightened up. Like in our program, we work with our students to get to a place with their workflow where they're finishing a signable, professional quality sounding song every single week. So then if they're finishing a great song every week, they've got four potential songs every month where maybe one of them can get signed. And if one of four every month gets signed, then you're looking at 10 to 12, hopefully getting signed, released every year. And then you're really going to grow. You know, getting that kind of consistency, putting out that much music, getting it signed to labels, that's where the growth is going to happen. So professional quality sound is number one. The number two quality you need to have is I need you to smash that like button. I don't know what it does. I hear that it gives a pretzel to a panda. You might not know this, but pandas, they love pretzels. You know, the big ones, the, the nice New York size pretzels. So smash that like button, give a pretzel to a panda. Well, the number two thing you really need is the brand. I'll give you a quick definition of what I mean by artist brand. Your brand is the world that you create around the music. A brand is the content that you're going to be putting out. A brand is also how you're going to connect with your audience. You know, and I know that it's not enough anymore to just have good music. People and fans are discovering you on social media. So if you're not putting yourself out there, if you're not giving yourself a chance, then no one is going to find you. No one is finding music on blogs anymore. No one is finding music on the radio. They're hearing it on Instagram. They're hearing it on TikTok. They're hearing it on YouTube. And fans are trying to connect with you in those places. And that brand is how they're going to find you. It's how they're going to connect with you. It's how they're going to get to know you. You know, our program, Cosmic Academy, we don't call ourselves a production school because the music production is just part of this. We spend 
the other half of the time working with you on the brand, on marketing yourself, on getting your stuff out there. If you are interested in joining a program like ours, I'll leave a link below in the comments. The third thing you're gonna need is also something that we do work on quite a bit. You need to have community. Community is becoming more and more important to your success. Doing this on your own is really hard. This is why at our school at Cosmic Academy, we've literally spent the last 11 years building our community. And it's not just about the connections. It's not just about the network. You're also gonna need other things like feedback. Like if you're in our program at Cosmic, we have three dedicated feedbacks every week forever. And you're gonna need real dedicated feedback. I keep saying this word dedicated. You're getting feedback from your friends, that's not it. When your friends tell you dope song, bro. That's not dedicated feedback. And neither is it when you ask some artists that you may have known. They're probably too busy to really dig in to your track. But dedicated feedback is where people really go to a place, they sit in a room, they sit in a, in a Zoom, they have a dedicated time, they have dedicated structure to give you feedback in a constructive and organized way where you can then make those changes, come back again and see if it's fixed. Another reason why you need community, community and other people can keep you accountable. I love in our school at Cosmic when a student will go to another student and they'll be like, hey, why didn't you bring a song last week? Come on, bring one next week. We want to hear it. Let's go. That little push, that is huge. The other thing on this topic that's important is when you start seeing other people doing the thing, seeing them signing the records, getting the shows, getting results, that starts seeping into you as well. And I see it all the time. We always say the same phrase, a rising tide lifts all ships. Another reason why community is so important, doing this on your own can be defeating. And there's no one around to help you, to ask a question, or to even do the following. Do you ever have like a rough day? Day or a bad night, you just hate your kick drum. Like you want to kill your kick drum. You want to shoot your kick drum. Well, when you're on your own, that could be really defeating. You might give up on that song at that point. But when you're in a community, someone's going to grab you and be like, hey, put the gun down. Don't kill your kick drum. Let's try to fix this. Or let's bring this to feedback. Or let's try to do this together. And having that support, that moment right there is everything. That's the reason why our students get such results. It's because I can sit here and tell you endless stories of students helping other students. So if you put all this together, you got the professional quality sound, you got the brand, you got the community. You're going to have a huge 2024. But wait, there's one more thing. Don't go anywhere. Because the last thing is you need to keep learning. You need to keep getting better. You need to keep progressing. So I have another video coming up that expands on the topics we talked about even more. I'm going to put that up here now. So go watch that next.